All right, guys. So this is another quick tutorial for band backing for backingtrackscustom.com. Sorry, uh, our website. Um, if you're using tracks from us from Ableton, uh, this will show you how to change how many count ins you have on your click and your cue track. If you um, are doing this on your own and you're running sets, kind of like how we have them set up. For more information on that, just go to the Link in the description. Uh, it's backingtrackscustom.com. You can go over here and click on our tutorial page and see how we set our tracks up. Kind of get an idea, but this is mainly for people using our tracks to show you how to uh, make your click track and your count in track shorter and easy. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and you go over to Ableton and we are going to start a song. The reason we're going to click on it on the song we want to shorten the count in and the click track is because that way it'll tell Ableton uh, what tempo to use right there. So now we're going to go over here and we are going to click on our click track right here. And then we're going to come right down here to this little um, box where you can see the click track in here. Just go up to the top where you see the little uh, microscope glassy thing and just click down and pull and if you click right on top of this it'll pull right in that area and now you can see here we have you know our click one two three four what we're going to do is we're going to take this little backwards arrow and we're going to pull that down to this one right here because we want to take away oh I'm sorry we want to take away four counts at least the client to ask the question wants to take away four counts. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and it, this is on a grid. Go ahead and leave it on the grid. Just pull this uh, one measure over in front of the grid if your click does not line up on the grid because some of these songs the click doesn't line up exactly on the grid. If it does line up on the grid just pull it to where it's um, to where it's lined up on the grid. If it don't just pull it off one um, part of the grid until you see until it's lined up uh, you know the next little line there then you can come over and grab this little arrow and we're gonna move it right to the exact same spot right there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and you can see right in here where it says uh, start and then end so you can see now it says start at 2 Four, four. Yours will be different depending on where your song starts at. But this song starts now because we move the start playhead on the click to two, four, four. All right. So now we're going to go to every click on, clip on that song. So we're going to go back over here to the cue track, and we're going to change this start from one, four, four to two, four, four. Hit enter. Whoops. Four. Four. All right. We go to the next clip. I'm going to click on that. Change this to two. And then you want to go ahead and just, yeah, make sure those are two, two, four, four. So, and then the next clip. Two, four, four. We're good there. Here. Two. Click on that. Four, four. Click two four four and just finish these all the way out to make sure they're all two four four. Right there. Two four four or whatever your number would be, but like I said before, the ours is two four four that we're working with. All right, so now these clips are all moved into 244. So we're going to go back here and just kind of make sure. Click on the count in. Is it 244? Click. Is it 244? This one's 244. 244. 244. 244. 244. 244. Now we should only have four counts and then the song will start. So it'll be. Intro.
And yeah, and then you just hit stop, save your set, and it'll stay. It'll stay that way. So yeah, that's if you're wanting to shorten your click to either you know just four count ins, or if you want to change it to no count ins, where it just starts right in the song. You can do the same thing by just moving this up. Now you can see that this one actually lines up pretty well closer to the grid, so you can just move this section right to there. And actually, really, that's the only arrow you'd need to move because this bottom arrow. Because this bottom arrow will change that. So now you can see it's 411. So now what you would do is go through and change all these clips to 411 in this start area. And then they'd all start right there. All right. I hope that helps. And make sure you go over to our website if you're not using our tracks. Or if you are, go over there and buy more at uh, backingtrackscustom.com. All right. See you guys next time.